All right, guys, it is 4th of July week. Grayson and I are up at the New York cabin for a couple days. This is the first of many videos we're gonna be filming. Um, today, before the rain comes, we wanted to run through my solo filming saddle hunting setup that I'm gonna be using this year. And I'm gonna put my platform on here and set everything up as if I were hunting. We'll get started with the platform. Both my platform and saddle are tethered. Um, normally, like I said, I'd be about 20 feet up here, but for the practical part of this video, and so Grayson can film me, I'm just doing it from ground level. So there's the platform. So the platform is on, and this is how it would be waiting for me to get settled into the tree. I got my bow on the ground, the backpack on my back, and the first thing I do, I mean, I'd have my lineman's rope on right now, but I get settled into my tether. And clipped in. Okay, so got my backpack on my back. First thing I do is reach around and grab my bow hanger. I like to have my bow in the tree as fast as possible. This is just a real tree easy hanger um, with a bow hook attachment on the end. Bring my bow up, hang it, and I'm done with that. Next up comes my gear, I don't know what you call this, my gear strap. I have this thing pretty much filled to its max with hooks and all that. Okay, so I've got all these um, hooks figured out. I think normally the tree would be a little bit bigger up at the top, but those move around. Next, my backpack comes off, and I actually hang it from my carabiner. Okay, I'm gonna take off my camera bag from my backpack. It's in the front, so it's nice and accessible. And this gets hung on the back side of the tree just so it's out of the way when I'm trying to get my camera gear on. So now that that's open, I'm able to come in, grab my camera arm base. And this is a non-hunting scenario, so I'm gonna be a little bit louder. When I'm actually hunting, uh, I, do, I am a little bit more careful with the sound I make. This goes on the tree, lean into it. I like this off to my right side since I shoot right handed. About right there. Strap right in front of me so when it's dark, I can get to it. I just wrap that as tight as I can. And get that out of the way. Okay, next is the arm. That slides right in there, and I can level it. This is the muddy, I don't know what it's called, hunter arm or something. And I like to have this pass level on the vertical side. So when a big heavy camera is on the end, there's a lot of leverage. And when it pulls it down, it doesn't get level. And then you have a tilted horizon, which is no good for filming. So there's the arm at this point. I can take my backpack off. Now, rangefinder, grunt tube, a couple other things that I normally take. Um, I can hang these on the hooks, zip up, and this gets stowed out of the way for the remainder of the hunt. Now I come over to my camera. Now this is actually Grayson's camera. He's lending it to me this year because we've got some 
pretty big deer down at college that I want to film. It's a Canon 90D. He's used it to film the past two seasons. This season was filmed on a Sony A7 IV. Um, so this was sitting around at his house. He wasn't using it. And we got some pretty big deer down south at college that I wanted to film with a high quality camera. So he's been really generous in letting me use this camera for a hunt. This is a 18 to 135, so it's a very good range um, for archery hunting especially. And it will definitely do this year. So on top of the Canon 90D, I've got a Rode Video Micro. This is a very compact yet fully functional mic. It turns on when the camera turns on and it works perfect. So, mic gets plugged in there. Lastly, GoPro Hero 5. This is my secondary. This gets hung on my tether actually. So I unscrew this, open this up, get a little slack. Screw this onto my tether rope. So there, it's about level. That's my secondary angle. Once that's up, all my cameras are up. This, just like the backpack, goes to the back and stays there for the remainder of the hunt. Okay, so at this point I have everything that I need to hunt with up in the tree. Got the main camera, 90D, for all the deer. Flip it around for interview. And on the camera arm, I can get any angle I want around the tree, around my stuff, out and behind me. And then the GoPro, secondary. Uh, just for everything that I'm doing, whether that's grab my bow, range finding. Great angle to cut to, especially when editing, it makes it more seamless. Saddle hunting is something that's been around for a while, but it's gaining popularity. What else is gaining popularity is filming and solo filming. And personally, this is way easier than filming in a tree stand. You have all the gear in front of you. It's easily accessible from anywhere. You can, you can reach, adjust whatever you need to while staying concealed and um, just staying out of sight from the deer. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a middle of the line setup that I will be using this year down south in Virginia for the archery season. If you have any questions about this setup or anything related to solo filming in a saddle in general, um, feel free to leave a comment down below. We will get to that as soon as we can. We'll see you on the next one here on Keystone Woods and Water.